Hello everyone, I'm Philippe from Profile Tree, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own logo to later on add to your own website. So the first thing you need to do is go to your web browser and type in your search bar Squarespace Logo Maker and then just press enter and uh, select this one right here and this website should show up uh, it's where we will create our logo so I will create a massage company so soft tissue should be a nice name for a massage company and just press this arrow right here and this will bring up the editor where you can search for any words so I'll just search for massage and right here on the left side you can find uh, many symbols that relate to the words that you just type in so I have a lot of massage symbols but I don't really like any of these symbols so I'll just type in here hands and just press enter so I think one of these symbols should do for uh, our logo so I think this one, yeah so right now this is the editor right here you can change the font of your text add it to any font you like or the one that relates the most to your logo type so in this side you have bold and regular and here you have italic and regular right here you have the uh, color editor this will change the color of your text right here this is a color code so every color has a different code so save these codes for every color you use because we will be needing them later this right here is the uh, color editor for your symbol or shape and remember to save this color code so we can use it later on so right now all you have to do is edit the logo the way you like Once you have finished editing your logo this is how it will look like in the final version. You can preview it, how it will look like in a t-shirt or in a gift card that you can offer to your clients. You can also preview how it will look like in a background of a website or anything else. So now you'll want to save your logo, so you click in this button down here, save logo. Um, for now I will download the low resolution version because it's free but it is watermarked and for non-commercial use only so you can only use it for some sort of previews. There's always the option to download the high resolution version but it will cost you so for now we will stick with the uh, low resolution version it's free so you click this button and the download will show up right here down below and you don't have to fill this information but if you want to receive an email with a link to edit your logo later on you all you have to do is enter your name and email and click send and that's it the link was sent to your inbox so here is our logo, we can preview it, it looks real nice, it's in PNG format, um, and that's it, the logo is in your download folder, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one. Hello everyone, I am Philippe from Profile3, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own website using the Wix ADI which is the artificial intelligence from Wix so the first thing you have to do is go to your browser and type Wix 
in your search bar now open this website right here so this is what should show up it says create the website you want right here and now we will click on get started if you don't have an account you'll have to sign up and enter all your information to sign up but since I already have an account I'll just log in so I'll just enter my email information press enter and this page should show up saying welcome to Wix uh, we will click on create your website right here in this button and now it says what kind of website do you want to create so for my massage saloon I will select beauty and wellness and now I will select let Wix ADI create a website for you because it will create an automatically generated website so now I'll just type in massage here, massage spa, hit next. Then I'll want my website to have all these features, of course. Then just press next. Now, what is the name of your business? Enter the name of your company or business, soft tissue and hit next now enter your address you don't have to do this so right now we'll skip now it's asking us to review and edit our info so after we checked that everything's okay we'll just add the logo that we created in our last video click in this button and select the logo after it is loaded just press next now it says I am ADI which is artificial design intelligence we we'll just click start now we have to pick a style that is more related to our website so wild rose I think is the best for our massage saloon website so we'll just click on it continue now it says would you like me to create a color palette from your logo so we can create palette of course and now it will choose the colors that are in your logo and it will use them in our website so we we'll click to these colors so now it's going to create our home page So now the uh, Wix Artificial Design Intelligence has created our website. It really looks professional, has a list of treatments for our massage saloon, uh, has a list of reviews from people that went there, of course it's editable. Uh, it has the opening hours, it has a booking page where you can book uh, massages. It has an online shop with a lot of items and here is how it looks in real time so this is what people will see when they come into your website it really is uh, user-friendly has a nice flow and design very very professional um, People can interact with it, of course, they can see the items in the shop, visit a different page other than the home page, this is the booking page where they can book some treatments and you can, after you can edit any page you want, so now, right now I'm editing the uh, header, I want the header to be fixed so when we move down we can see it all the time. Uh, now I'm trying to choose a different design for the header 
because I don't think this one suits our website the most, so this one looks better. This one here, I think it's more adequate. So you can choose whichever um, template you want, and then you just save it. And uh, that's it, you have a website created by Wix ADI. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, I am Philip from Profile Tree and welcome back to another video tutorial on creating a website using Wix. So in last video we made a website with Wix ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence. But uh, if you didn't get satisfied with your website or want to edit in a more sophisticated way, you, you will probably want to switch back to the Wix editor because everything gets more customizable, you have a greater range of tools and you can make the front end of your website better and way more personalized. So the first thing you'll need to do is come to this tab here where it says site and go down this button that says go to editor and you will click in this button. This window will show up where it says fully customize your website in the Wix editor and once we click on it we will have access to all the features of the Wix editor uh, drag and drop any element change any font color and customize the site's design optimize your site to look amazing on every device so mobile and everything add advanced apps, stunning design features and so much more so we will have a huge range of tools but if you want to come back to the Wix ADI any changes you saved in the Wix editor won't be transferred. So now click on this button, go to Wix editor and our website will be transferred to the Wix editor. So our website has been transferred from the Wix ADI to the editor and it has all the same elements that had in the ADI but way more tools to customize and adapt or your website to all your needs for example now I will edit the header and I will click on the design button choose my predefined design style and when I'm done I click in customize design and I will edit it in any way that I want good right now but it's still not the design I want so I'll keep going now we have a full website completely built by Wix ADI but with that little personal touch and of course you can always edit everything else later but um, I will explain that in another video. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hello everyone, I am Philippe from Profile Tree, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own website using the Wix editor. So the first thing you need to do is go to your web browser and type Wix press enter. Then you open this website that says free website builder and this page should show up. Create the website you want. So after that you click on get started. If you don't have an account you will have to sign up 
and enter all your information to sign up and since I already have an account I'll just log in so I'll enter my email information after that you just press enter and then this page should show up it says welcome to Wix and uh, let's get your website online today so we'll just click on the button create website and now it says what kind of website do you want to create so now we will select a category for our business or website so since I'm creating a massage saloon I'll select beauty and wellness right here so now we can let ADI create our website but we have already done that in a video before so this time we will, we will create our website with the Wix editor so let's go on and choose a template so right now we will choose a template for our website as you can see there are lots of templates to choose from so you can edit them and preview them to see how your website will look like um, so let me just select wellness right here so now for our massage saloon I will select a template that suits the most my needs and this one looks like a good template to work on so I think I'll just select this one click on edit and now your template will be loaded where you can edit everything you want to adapt to your website so right now we have a selected template and in the next video I'll show you how to edit everything to look just like you want thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video hi everyone I am Philip from profile tree and welcome back to another video tutorial on how to create your website using Wix so in last video we learned how to create the website and selecting a template and today I'll show you how to edit that template so that the colors of your website text in your website matches the colors in the logo so the first thing we'll do is get rid of this predefined logo right here and we will upload our own logo that we created in a video before so click on add then images and my image uploads so there's no image right now so we have to upload the logo once it is uploaded you just click on add to page and the logo is added to your website so right now we will put it in the header right next to the uh, horizontal menu and even leveled with it and once you've got that in place we will edit the horizontal menu by clicking on the layout button editing and references its size, its shape, its position so once you have all that done you will want to click on the design button so we can alter its design to a better one related to your logo so now you have to choose any of these designs and once you have selected the one you like the most you click on customize design so we can customize its text its colors its forms when you hover it when you have it clicked everything 
that is related with the design, its border, its shadow, everything. So right now we will edit the color of the text and the buttons. So remember that code that I told you to save from the logo? Well, we are going to make that code now. that you save, we copy and paste them right here, and as you can see, the new color is the one that has the code that we saved in the logo video. So now the text has that green color, and we will add the same color to the border, and that same green tone. You don't have to paste the code again, because the color is saved. So now we can also edit the thickness of the border, the thickness of the text, the bold, and that's it for the regular button. We will now edit the color of the hover button, but now we will add a pink code that we saved from the logo video, and we will make the hover button pink, so we will paste the code in here, like the last time, so right now it's pink, click on add, so now you have a new color, which is the same pink as in the logo, and our hover button has that color, so when you mouse over the button, you will have that color. Now in the click button, we will set it to green as well, and now let's see how looks so when you move it, it turns to pink and when you can flip it becomes green just like in the home button and if you click in any other button the home button becomes regular and white with a green border so that's it that's how you match the colors of your logo to the, your website i hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Hi everyone, I am Philip from Portal Tree, and welcome to another video tutorial on how to create your website using Wix. So in last video we learned how to adjust the website colors to your logo colors. So let's say that today you want to change the font of your text in your website because you think that none of these predefined fonts adapt to your website and you really wanted to use a font that you saw online or in a movie or anywhere else and the first thing you have to do is download your font the font that you want to use then you have to come to this button on the website that says My Uploads right here. You click on it and then it says Fonts. You click on that button as well. And right now you don't have any fonts in here, so you will click on Upload Font right here. And then you will look for the font in your folder, in whichever folder you saved it. And then you will click on open and then you wait until the font is uploaded once your font is uploaded you will click on the button done so now your font is on the website files so you can find it whenever you try to change the font of any text in your website. All you have to do is come right here to the top of the fonts where it says my fonts and in here you can find all the fonts that you upload to the site right on this tab right here. So if you want to upload more fonts you can, you can upload as many fonts as you want and it's that simple. 
I will make more videos explaining more things but for today this is it so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one thank you for watching Hi everyone, I am Philip from Profile Tree, and welcome to another week's tutorial. So in the previous videos we learned how to match the colors of your website with the color of your logo, we learned how to upload fonts, we learned lots of things, but today I'll be showing you how to upload background music to your website. And the first thing you need to do is go on this button that says add and you click it and you go down here where it says music and you select one of these players and the window will show up where you will have to upload music so you click on upload tracks and you select the song that you previously downloaded and I will select this one right here from my downloaded folder and once you finished uploading the track that you want you will click on add to page and the music player will be added to your page now if you want your visitors to hear music when they load your website you click right here on settings and you select autoplay on loading so this will make your track autoplay whenever someone loads your page and if you select this button right here this will make your track replay after it's finished this is the volume of the track so when your visitors enter your website they don't want to get scared with the music too loud so we will set it to 50 for now once we have everything set up we will place our mini player in the header because the header will display on every page but in my case I don't want people to see the player so I will just hide it behind the home button so simply right click on it and come down here to arrange and then select send to back once you click it you see that the mini player is behind the home button so the music will still play on every page because it's in the header but uh, your visitors won't be able to see it now we will try our player and we will click right here on preview and see if it works as you can see our website is now displaying a music on load automatically so it's a very relaxing music just like everything on our website because it's a massage spa and the music it displays on every page because it's fixed in the header so even if you change pages to every page in your header the music will still play so that's it for today's video thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hi everyone, I am Philip from Profile Tree and welcome to another week's tutorial. So in the last videos we learned how to change the website colors to match the logo colors. We learned how to add background music to your website to your visitors. We learn how to upload a font to your website and today I'll be showing you how to add a booking page to your website so that your customers can book any service that you provide so the first thing you will want to do is go right here to the left side and click on this button that says add then scroll down to here where it says store 
Now in the store you can add a app called Wix Bookings. So you click on add to page and now it's adding Wix Bookings to your page. And as you can see there is a new tab in the horizontal menu up there and it's a new booking page. So this is the booking page. It has all the services that you can and you can customize it and you can add any any service that you want. You can change the buttons, change the prices, change the names, change the pictures. You can edit everything in your booking page. And you can do this by simply by selecting your booking page and clicking on the button settings and once you click on settings this window will pop up and it will have a lot of customization for your booking page you know the layout of your services and you can choose to display them on a line or strip format or you can choose a grid format just like you see in here you know like all the services in a grid or you can choose the classic format which are basically strips or lines but a little larger but uh, for today we are going to stick with the grid format so uh, this here is the uh, service page this is what people see after they have selected a service and now all you have to do is customize and edit all your page Once everything is edited, we can see how it looks like on a live website. Simply click on preview. And this is how it looks. It looks really smooth and professional. You can always add or edit the services that your website provides. And you can customize it in your own way. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you on the next one, thank you. Hello everyone, I am Philippe from Profile Tree, and welcome to another video tutorial on Wix. So in the last few videos I told you how to change the colors of your website to match the colors of your logo. I told you how to upload the font. I told you how to create a booking page and customize it. But uh, today I'll be showing you how to create an online shop for your website. And it's really simple to do this. It's uh, really easy. All you gotta do is come to the left side and click on the button that says add apps once you click on it this window will show up and you will, must search store and this app the first app that will show up is Wix stores so you will install this app clicking on this button right here and as you can see there is a new tab in our horizontal menu that says shop and that will be the page that people will see. This right here on the left side is the store management. This is where you can manage all your store pages, all your items and all your products. And this is how the your products will display on your shop page. So you can edit them, you can drag them, you can customize everything from the background to the text everything but to add new items you have to go to the manage products 
and here is where you can manage your products you can click on a product to edit them or you can click here to add a product when you click here they will ask you if it's a physical product or a virtual product and you will choose either one I'll choose physical product and all you gotta do now is uh, insert the details of your product once you think you have everything set up you simply click on done and here you have it you have a new product in your store a with everything personalized this is how it will look in your store page and on this panel here on the left this is where you can edit all the rest of your pages the thank you page the cart page everything you can edit your pages in here and just so you can see I will edit the item page, which is the page that will display your products. Now that everything is set up, we will see how it looks. As you can see, your store has three items. This is the item page or the product page. It looks really professional it, and with the customization it looks better in our website. And as you can see it has all the features of a store, an online store. The price, the add to cart, the quantity, everything. So once everything is set up we will now create a new page which will be the main page for our store because we will need that for later and I will show you why in a different video so we will put this page in the sub page of our main shop, shop page and we will hide it so that your visitors can only see the main page and now we will add a button that will lead to the secondary page which is the shop page and I have assigned that button with the image of my logo so that when people click on it it will lead to the secondary page the shop page all it needs is a little customization and it's good to go Once everything is edited, you can see how it looks. So this is our home page. And when you click on shop, this main page will show up saying our shop with the picture. When we click on the picture, it will direct us to the secondary page showing all our products. So this is it. This is how you create an online shop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. That's it for today and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Philip from Profile 3 and welcome to another video tutorial on Wix. So in the last video I showed you how to create an online shop for your website where you could sell your items or your products anything related to your website and this is how our shop looks so when you click on shop in the horizontal menu this will pop up and you have to click on the picture and it will display our shop with our items you can add items you can remove items change their price and everything but if you remember in the last video I told you that we were going to need this page this primary page for a, another thing and it was the affiliate shop 
where you can add your affiliate marketing items from any affiliate program that you are using so in this video I will be using the Amazon affiliate and I'll be showing you how to set up an Amazon affiliate shop and the first thing you have to do is create a new page in the page management we will call it affiliate shop and we will add it as a secondary page from our main page simply by dragging it to the right side and as you can see we have the main page in shop and we will rename this page to be named uh, our shop so we now have our shop and affiliate shop as secondary pa pages from the main shop and now we will want to create a button just like this one but for the affiliate shop so once now I'm just hiding the, the, the page from the menu so now we want to create a button just like this but for the affiliate shop so when people visit our shop instead of clicking on this button to visit our shop they will click on the other button to visit the affiliate shop and all you have to do is do the same process in, as in the last video and with a different image once your button is all set up you will want to add a link to that affiliate affiliate page so you simply add the link to the page and you try it you test it to see if it's working so if we click on the button it will link to an empty page which is the affiliate page so now we will have to add items to that page so the first thing we will do is add a button that will link to your affiliate sh uh, item in Amazon so simply click on add and add button so we will choose this button right here which is our personalized button now we will write in the text buy now so that people know that when they click in this button they will buy the item so now we will add a link when we click on the button you simply go to your Amazon Associates and you search for an item that you want to sell for example this uh, nail polish right here we will generate the link which is a personalized link with our name on it so when people buy it we get the affiliate program and you paste it on the button links so now we will want to add an image to our product and we will link that image directly from the Amazon site so you just click on add and come down here to more and select HTML iframe because we will use the HTML link from that image uh, and you we will paste it here so right now you will go back to the Amazon site and click build link in here you will have the option to choose image only or text only or text and image and the option that you select will be the one that will be displaying on your website so if you choose text only only the text will appear in the HTML iframe but right now we are going to use only the uh, image for our iframe so you copy this link and you will go back to your website and paste it in the HTML frame so right now the frame has the image directly from the Amazon website once you have finished customizing your product we can see how it looks in a real website so when people come to my website and they click on shop 
they will be directed to the page of our shop and Amazon shop. If they press Amazon shop, this item will show up with the name and the image and when they click buy now, they will be redirected to our Amazon item where they can buy this item through your affiliate marketing program and as you can see it has your name on the link so it is a fully customized link to your own affiliate marketing program so right now your website page looks uh, quite empty it only has one item so what you want to do is repeat the same process but with another different affiliate marketing item Once you have all your items set up, this is how your page will look and you can preview it and you can see that you have the names and the images and the buy now button that will redirect to the link. So this is it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Philippe from Profile Tree, and welcome to another video tutorial on Wix. And in the last videos I showed you how to create an online shop for, um, for your own items and for your Amazon affiliate program items. And I told you how to link them to your Amazon personalized link. I also told you how to create your own items for your own store and remove them and add them and everything else. But in this video I'll be showing you how to create a blog for your website. So right now you will click on add and then scroll down to here where it says blog and then simply click add to site. Once you click it, the Wix editor will add the blog to your website and as you can see there is a new tab in the horizontal menu that says more and that's where your excessive tabs will show up. So right now if you click on more in the page menu you will see that there is a blog page and a member page but the only one that you want to see here is the uh, blog page and you don't want to see the member page so you will want to click on settings and then hide and this will hide that page from the horizontal menu so now it only displays the blog page now I'll set it to secondary page and as you can see your blog is now displaying on the horizontal menu and it has its own page so this is your blog page with all the blog features with all the posts and the posts are all contained in a category which are those words displaying above the posts and you can create the category in here in the settings page so let's go ahead and create a category for our posts once that category is created we can now create posts for our blog and we simply click on manage blog and this page will show up where we can manage all of our blog posts we can create new posts we can edit old ones we can pretty much do anything so right now we'll create a post for our blog and you do this simply by clicking 
clicking this top right button that says create post and from there you let your imagination fly So here is your blog post, this is the how your blog will display in your blog feed. Once you are satisfied with your post, you simply click on publish and now your post is in your, is in your page. So here is your post, is in the beauty category as well. And you can preview it simply by clicking on the preview button so right now this is how it will look to your visitors they when they click blog they will see all the posts all the blog posts they will see the older ones they'll see the new ones and when they click on a post they will they can read it on full and this is it so this is how you create a blog for your website you can also add comments and this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one thank you hi everyone i am philippe from profile tree and welcome to another video tutorial on Wix. So in the last videos I showed you how to create an online shop and how to create a blog for your website and how to add posts in your blog. And in today video, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your website to your own domain. To add to your to add your own domain. Today I'll be showing you how to up, up, Today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your website to have to add your own domain. So the first thing you have to do is going here to the site button and exit the editor. Once you're in the dashboard, there will be a button that says upgrade now and this is where you can get your own domain. So you will click on the upgrade now button that it will lead you to this window where you can upgrade your website to a premium plan and you will have to choose between one of these plans. So. For me, I'll choose this plan, the basic plan. You will choose whatever you want, your yearly subscription, or <coughs> you will choose how you want your su subscription to be, and then you will simply click on select. Once you have selected your plan and your subscription, you will have to enter all your details and all your payment details. Once you have entered all your details, you'll simply click on Submit Purchase. And now it says that our website is premium, so we can now go back to adding our own domain so right here on the bottom says already have a domain connect it so if you don't have a domain you'll type your you will have to buy a domain and search for one in here but since we already have a domain we will simply connect it so it will ask for our domain name you will simply 
input your domain name. And hit next. Once the website has found your domain name, you will say if it's from Good Daddy, Go Daddy, or if it's not, you play, simply click No. But if it is, you click on this Yes, it's from Good Daddy, Go Daddy. After that, the first thing you have to do is sign in on Go Daddy. So you will open another tab and you will go to GoDaddy and then you will simply sign in in here you will enter your details Once you have logged in, you click on DNS Once you're in the DNS management, you will scroll down and in where it says name servers, you will select custom Then you will go back to the dashboard and you will copy this name servers and paste them in here and then you simply click save as you can see your name servers are now on Wix you can click on verify connection after that you let Wix verify your connection and it may take up to 48 hours for your site to be visible worldwide and that's it that's how you add a domain to your website but it it can take up to 48 hours for your domain to be live so they will send you an email to your email when the when your website is live so that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video